Wait, you guys, watch this. Alexa, turn on all of the lights. <laughs> Isn't that so funny? She's playing the song. <laughs> okay, now into the video. Hey guys, it's Christine. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I wanted to show you a realistic, authentic apartment tour living here in Orange County for 700 square feet. <laughs> I want to go over rent, what our bills are, and kind of what you get for 700 square feet for that amount of money. So if you guys are interested to see what it looks like living here, or if you're wanting to move here, I would stay and keep watching this video. So I didn't do any cleaning, deep cleaning, organizing, anything like that. This is a real and authentic what our apartment looks like. Tyler and I really like a clean space because it's just best for our relationship and just how we function. So we usually take 10 minutes at night to kind of clean up and do a little refresh before we go to bed so that when we wake up, it's just, everything's just looking really nice. So what you see here is what everything really just does look like every single day. So first we will get into the apartment tour so that you guys can see what everything looks like. And then I pulled up our lease so I could give you factual specific numbers on how much it is to live here and everything like that. So let's watch the tour and then we'll get down into the numbers. So this is what our apartment looks like as soon as you come in. That's the front door and then this is just like a little table we have to put our keys, our sunglasses, coupons, and stuff like that. And then to the left we have a little linen closet. I always just hang my purse there, the one that I'm currently using. And then our calendar that has everything that's going on so we can stay on the same page. And then inside of here, we use it kind of more of just like storage. On the back of the door is like our work bags and our little grocery cart and coats. And then inside, we decided to put these little shelving units. And then at the top is just like little wire racks to help store stuff more easily. There's a lot of just like sheets and pillows for when people come visit. There's also a lot of little extra boxes and a little just things that we are trying to keep but take up a lot of space. And then also our shower towels and any leftover Sam's Club stuff that we may have, we just stuff at the bottom. We keep our vacuum in the middle with our sneakers to the right. I mean, sneakers, it's mostly Tyler's shoes. Mine are primarily kept in the closet. But yeah, that's that whole first little closet when you walk in. Then you turn around and you can kind of see the whole view of our whole apartment. When you walk in, you kind of just enter to the kitchen and then you can see the living room on the other side. So yeah, this is just a little overview of what everything looks like. To the left is just our fridge. And then we have our toaster oven on the corner right there with some flour and sugar. We have a lot of tall cabinets. We have definitely a lot of space. It's just hard to kind of reach everything. So in this one, we just have a lot of pans, our air fryer, and then some glass ones at the top. This is primarily where we keep like all of our food, I would say, other than like spices and stuff. And then this is where all of our Tupperware is. This is a spice and baking cabinet with some strainers and then some additional storage right at the top. Then we have just our microwave with some more storage and our oven. And then more storage up here where we just keep a lot of our like travel cups and then some board games at the top. Again, it's just so tall, so we just put stuff we don't use as often. And there is just some cups and then some more overflow of Sam's Club stuff. Usually it's just mostly paper towels. And then this is our little sink area next to our coffee station. We have an espresso and a Keurig. And then this is where all of the coffee stuff is. And then our plates and bowls also. And then I'm grateful we have a dishwasher. I'm really, really grateful about that. Then we have our little island with a candle. That rug is from Ikea. We have a little ball, a catnip ball for Ascari, and then some decor underneath the island as well. And then our bar stools are from Target. But yeah, this is what we're working with. And then over here is just our laundry, our washer and dryer. At the top is just the normal stuff that you would typically have. And then to the left, we keep our broom. And to the right, we just keep our mops kind of just shoved in the corner right there. And then this is the little office space. Tyler and I don't work from home at the same time, so this is actually perfect. But that's our little monitor. We have a little phone holder and a little picture. It gets the job done. I keep my makeup there because sometimes I also get ready there in the morning. 
In this drawer, we just have like envelopes and paperwork and then some more extra computer paper, some of my extra makeup stuff. And then in this drawer is just like overflow of makeup stuff that I don't use every day. And then the bottom is just kind of like bigger stuff that takes up space. It's a, like a little miscellaneous drawer. This little Tupperware container that Ascari's litter box is supposed to be in, I just haven't had a chance to do that yet. And then we have a little side table that we got from Amazon, and then our light is from Walmart. And then this is our living room, you guys. We have put so much love into it the past few months to really make it come together with decor pieces and everything. These chairs are just like velvet chairs from Wayfair. They really tie in with our pillows. And then our couch is custom from Living Spaces. And then the pillows came part of the little customization process. And then we have some artwork above the couch that I bought on Etsy and then printed it through Sam's Club. And then our coffee table was actually only like $125 from Amazon. I made this clay little chain myself, just out of clay. We have some coasters and a little glass chess set. Our curtains and curtain rod are from Ikea. We have little baskets from Marshalls that hold all of our leftover extra blankets. And then behind the couch, we call Ascari Land. That's just kind of the place where she hangs out and like all of her stuff is. It kind of keeps it like disorganized and messy in just one area. That's our little robot vacuum. And then also her food and water right there. And then this is our little patio. It's probably one of my little favorite places. We have some plants out there. We got those pillows from Amazon. The little furniture set is from Wayfair. The floorings from Ikea and then the little lanterns to the left you can barely see are from Ikea, but we just love that area so much. It's just so cozy and calm, so it's really cool. And yes, all my plants are fake. <laughs> and then when you come back in, obviously this is looking at our apartment from the other corner. And then this is kind of the little entertainment area. Tyler and I built these cabinets from Ikea ourselves. We sanded, primed, and stained them, and then polyurethaned them ourselves to get the perfect color we were looking for. So we did that ourselves, and then we just decorated those shelves just a few weeks ago. Everything is just slowly coming together, and we love it so much. And then in here is just kind of where a lot of our organization is, other than besides under our bed in that cabinet I showed you guys, or the closet I showed you guys. But yeah, this is just a lot of overflow of video games, books, arts and crafts, just extra stuff that we don't have anywhere to put. And then this is our bedroom right off of the living room. We have a queen bed with just some artwork, a dresser, some nightstands, and a mirror in here. It's on the smaller side, but it still gets the job done and it's not like it's too small. Like it's still a really good sized bedroom. We have little blackout curtains in here. A basket with some blankets, some yoga stuff. The dresser is from Wayfair. And then the nightstands are from Marshalls. The bedding is from Bed Bath & Beyond. I got the sconces from Amazon and we love those, by the way. It's just like a cozy little vibe, just a cozy white room, which I love so much. This little artwork on the wall I did by myself, just with some spackle. And then same thing with this mirror, it was black before, but I just did some foam around the edge to kind of make it match everything. That's a little baby gate to help Ascari not scratch at the rug. And then right off of our bedroom is our bathroom. So there's only one entrance into here, which is probably our least favorite part. But yeah, this is our bathroom, it's huge. I honestly think it's too big. I would have rather have had more living space to have a bit of a smaller bathroom, but this is what we're working with. Here's the shower. This is just kind of, I don't know, I guess all of the stuff we use in case you're curious. Some extra shampoo and conditioner, some daily shower spray. I love, love, love eucalyptus in the shower. That's one of my favorite things ever. And then more artwork I bought on Etsy that I blew up at Sam's Club. We have a little candle, my retainer, and then just some stuff on the little marble slab there. This is kind of like my little skincare drawer. 
I don't have a lot of stuff, but it gets the job done. This is my body and hair drawer. And then this is Tyler's like shaving and eyes drawer because he has a lot of eye stuff for some reason. And then this is just our brushes and toothpaste and deodorant. And then this is all pretty much travel stuff and like overflow of big stuff that's for the shower. Like extra shampoo and conditioner and then travel size minis. And then underneath is just all of our cleaning stuff and everything like that. So yeah, this is our bathroom. Then off of that is our closet. This is a little bit of an overview. Sorry, my tripod is huge, so I keep bumping into things. But this is our shoes and sunglasses up above that. Most of my shoes are in here because Tyler switches his shoes every day. I wear the same shoes to work. These are more weekend and like when I'm not at work shoes. And then those are my purses up there. And then all of my non-work clothes on the top. And then these are all my work clothes at the bottom. And then some jackets in there, our dirty clothes. And then I have some boots shoved back there. And then this is all jeans and sweats and shorts and athletic clothes. And then I have a lot of sweat sets and sweatshirts and sweatpants and cozy lounge clothes. And then this is all of Tyler's pants. Above here, we just have a lot of black bins with just like overflow of clothes that we don't wear very often. And then some more bins above his clothes that honestly just have random stuff. I don't even remember what's in there. And then these are all of his shirts, his short sleeve shirts, and then his long sleeve shirts are organized on the bottom. And then necklaces just on the wall behind the door. And then we have hats on the door behind that. But yeah, this is our closet, you guys. <laughs> okay, guys, we are back. I have our lease agreement pulled up, our renewed lease from last year. Our lease is up in about three months, so we should be getting a renewal soon. But our apartment is 700 square feet. We do not rent from the big conglomerate that lives here. I'm not going to say just because of the area we live in, but we do not rent from the big conglomerate that is local here. So in Orange County, our apartment is 700 square feet. Our monthly apartment rent is $2,628. Our deposit to live here was $975, which I feel like normally it's 500, but sometimes it can be like the first month's rent. Our monthly parking is $100. I believe that's for one car because the second car is free and you do not get assigned spots. So you kind of have to park wherever, whenever you get home. And then our pet rent for our cat is $45 a month. And then monthly we get kind of the variable bills. So I pulled that up so that you guys can see. So our water heating for the month of January, because it pays like 60 days late, for January 1st through January 31st, it was $24.27. Pest control was $2. Sewer was $20.45. Trash, we don't have like the valet trash service like we had in Massachusetts. So trash here is $25.34. Water was $11.32. And then the service fee is $6.92. So all of that together was $90.30. And then just a few extra little bills that aren't included in that little monthly one that we get emailed every month. Here you have to get your internet through AT&T. That's the only one that's offered in this apartment complex. So AT&T is $75 a month. Renter's insurance is also mandatory. You can't live here unless you have renter's insurance. That is $10 a month. And then electric, Tyler pays electric. That's kind of variable. Some months you get like a refund because of this California electric thing going on, but he put on average, he pays $55 a month. So I will add up everything on the screen so that you guys can see how much it costs to live in a 700 square foot apartment in Orange County, California. I hope that you guys like this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more videos like this, just let me know in the comments down below. And then subscribe to see more videos from me. And until next time, bye guys. Getting tired of the way